Amazon has made it so much easier to list a product without a product ID or a brand name. Hi my loves, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Vanessa, Vani for short. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you guys through these simple steps on how to list without a product ID or a brand name. When you log into your Amazon account, you're gonna go to the top right, go to catalog, add products. Then it's gonna take you to this screen here. Now there are two ways to add the product. The first way is just going in here and typing in your product. So let's say we're looking for a spatula, right? And you can go in here and look for your identical spatula. Sometimes it may have a brand name, so you're not able to list under there. So I suggest just going back Going to this section here, it says, I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. Click there here. This is the new way. Amazon has updated this to make it so much simpler. And I'm going to show you why, because it just populates everything for you. So let's just say we're looking for spatula again. Type that in. Then it'll give you the product type. It'll give you an example of where the products would go. Now, this says spatulas, barbecue turners, icing, and decorating spatula spatulas. Let's say you don't want that, but if you do, this is perfect. You just hit confirm and go on to the next part. But let's say you want something else. You can go here and type in spatula again. And it'll bring up, hit search, it'll bring up other product types. So if you feel like this cooking spatula is better, you want it in that category, you want it in the barbecue turners, whichever one fits your product, you're going to select. You can also do it manually here, but this is always the best way to go. So I'm going to select this first one. All right, so once you hit next, here's the item name. Basically, this is just the title. Now you really need to do your due diligence and select perfect keywords for your title. But for video purposes, we're just gonna go with spatula. Then here you can see that it says you have variation. So if you have different colors of the spatula or anything of your product, then you would hit yes, but we're just gonna select no for now. I'm gonna skip over to here. The product ID is basically the UPC or EAN barcode that you get from gs1.com, from gs1.org. But since we are not going to be using a product ID, all you're gonna select is I don't have one, just as simple as that. Then next for brand name, you can put this product does not have a brand name and Amazon will put it as generic. Once you hit next, it'll take you to the product details. Now you can answer all these questions regarding your product. Always remember that this may look different for your product because again, products are different. So if you have a t-shirt or if you're selling electronics, some of these questions will be different. This is just a spatula, so it's pertaining to my product. Once you answer all these questions, put how you're gonna sell it, then you would just select submit and your listing within maybe a few hours, not even a few minutes, it'll be up and running on Amazon. Now I do suggest if you are gonna be doing private label to add a brand name because that really does eliminate people just getting on your listing and taking money from you. So I do suggest doing a brand name, but if you are doing like a seasonal product for like Halloween, Easter, Valentine's Day coming up, then doing generic is just fine. But just remember that there are other people that can jump on your listing. When you sign into Amazon, this is how your product will be listed. It'll say brand generic. Now you always have to remember again that other people can jump on your listing. So if this is a generic product, all these other sellers can jump on your listing. So I do recommend just if you are taking this as a serious business to go ahead and sign up for the brand registry. It is a little bit more expensive because you do have to have the trademark and provide all that documentation. But again, this is something that we want to do for the long term, build our brand, build our business. So this is the best way to go. If you do have any questions on how to start up a private label business, I'm going to link a playlist that I have of everything Amazon private label. You can go ahead and watch those videos. If you guys feel like you need more hands-on help, I am offering one-on-ones, so I will leave all my information below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're always notified when I upload something. And as always, I'll see you guys soon. Bye, my loves.